So this video is an update to my previous one where I recommend the Dominox Band um, personal amplifier for costume mask helmet um, modifications um, because it's simple and low profile. Um, here, here's the latest update. I'm doing an install right now and I just figured I'd take a break and do this little video. Um, if you look in my previous one, uh, the Dominox, I guess, is no longer for sale on Amazon or they're out of stock or whatever, but I did find these Moki um, items that are the exact same design, um, same layout, all that jazz. It's basically the same thing, rebranded under some, selling under a different brand. Um, anyway, so here's what you get inside of it. You get the headset, the, the box, which I threw away. Um, this particular speaker, this battery, it's a 3.7 volt, and this convenient mini board. This does not have Bluetooth, but it does have everything else. It has your uh, micro SD card or TF card, your um, microphone in, your auxiliary in. Um, let's see, what is this? Your power. Um, so when you charge the battery, um, that's your power slot, and this is your... Um, what's left oh the speaker slot and then this is a uh, another in a usb in and then you have a an analog volume toggle all very low profile the challenge is the buttons are on the back and that's the only thing it would be nice if they were along here but it is what it is so if you take a look you can see um this is the layout so that's this is what's inside so you see these two ports, two ports, and then the buttons, and there. So that's that's everything. Um, so they got it nice and low profile. It's your power, your forward, play, pause, reverse, or rewind, and uh, mode change. So set that aside. So what, what's different now? Um, so this is the same thing I recommended before, but I didn't have a speaker recommendation at the time. Um, this speaker that came with, comes with it, heavy duty, nice, good, good quality. Um, what is it? I think it's a two, two ohm, three watt, but it put, it puts out some good, good volume, but it's too big. You're not, you're not going to fit that in your mask. And if you do, uh, good for you. Um, I'm not fitting it in my mask. Um, so what I've done is chop that off. Um, then this ends up inside the mask. And of course the power, uh, mind you, if you, if you try and pull these in or out, you'll notice there's some, what looks like red paint around them. It's actually like a rubber glue or adhesive that they used. And, um, so just keep that in mind uh, so you don't pull these things off the, off the board. Um, but so what I've done is augment this with this bad boy. Uh, let's see, it's Dayton Audio DAEX25CT-4. It's a 4 ohm, 10 watt speaker. Um, I've used a smaller version of these of this brand uh, speaker before, and um, it was decent. Um, I think I'd do the install a little different now that I know a little bit about it. But uh, anyway, so this is good. And so what you're thinking is probably that's a weird looking speaker. Well, it's an exciter. So what this is is just some 3M tape. You peel that off and it turns whatever you are sticking it to into the speaker. So you might've seen the ones that where you you uh, turn your windows or walls into speakers, same concept. And these things are amazing. Um, if you can find a reasonably flat spot on your helmet or mask or whatever, or on your body armor, whatnot, this puts puts out some some volume. Um, so let's, let's just see how it worked out. So, I'm going to put in my mic and you may or may not have heard that. Um, but let's, let's just, let's just hear me talk just as is. I think I've got the volume almost, it's not all the way up, but it's like at a medium high volume and you can, I'm trying to get away from the phone so you can just hear through the speaker. It doesn't sound bad. Let me, let me turn it all the way up. Okay. So it's still a decent volume, even all the way up, but here, here, this is, this is the interesting part.
This is the mask I'm working on right now, and I'm about to shoot a video for it, but I wanted to do this video first. Um, it's Guardians of the Galaxies. It's all, I've got it all gutted and taken apart, but when I was testing this out in different spots inside to see where I could put it, wow, the volume was just amazing. So just to uh, show you, here is here here it is now. Now let me just put it right here in one of these spots that I was considering. The volume is vastly um, louder. Um, the thing is, is you have to have it adhered uh, firmly to a flat surface. Otherwise, you'll get a loosened up. See, hear that? If you heard that, yeah, that's if you if it isn't completely adhered to the surface, then it bounces off the surface and makes a rattle noise. So, um, yeah, so a good flat surface is great. Or you can do it here, but it's just not as quality. Originally, I was thinking it would benefit. Originally, I was thinking it would benefit from here because it would go through um, these little vents. But no, it turns the whole helmet into the into the uh, speaker, so it actually wasn't as good going through there, and it gets too much rattling because it's it's hard to level out in there. This is the back shield on this thing, and it just just another example. This is. Really good. Um, okay, now it's more firmly affixed, and you can you can hear it. But what what um, I found interesting was what materials this actually works well with. I figured, oh, hard plastic is good, but what about wood? It's a little softer. Test, 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 test. This is uh, this is pretty good. This is really resonant for just a. of comparison. This is what it sounds like without the board. With the board? Without the board. And so I wasn't sure also about foam because I'm actually considering using that in this helmet and I'm like, well, it probably won't work. It'll probably absorb too much of the resonance. But, oh my golly, it sounds really good. I actually think it it doesn't bounce as much. It doesn't bounce as much as these these other surfaces because they're so hard. I think they'll bounce away from the speaker, like when I'm holding it, you know, if it's not adhered. But it just has a smoother sound. And then I tried different different sizes of foam, and it just seemed to get louder and louder, but deeper in bass. It seems like it increases the bass and not the treble, or it lowers the treble. So, how uh, often... Here, here is a, a big, thick piece of foam. Um, so, so that's just a comparison on why I really like this speaker and also just a, for your situational awareness on what materials it'll work on is, works surprisingly well on, I guess, anything. Um, maybe water, probably. If you dropped it in water, it probably wouldn't. <laughs> anyway, um, so I just thought I'd share that. So, this is it. Let's get this guy out of here. Um, so the same thing as before, except I have a, a speaker recommendation. And then maybe you just go down a size if this thing won't fit. Um, but these these work really well. The challenge that I had with the other install um, that I did was in my Boba Fett helmet and the mic. I had a low quality, I had a circuit board mic. I didn't have a, something like this. this. I really like this mic here too. A lot of these mics that come with these are really good. Um, but it was just a circuit board mic and maybe that's part of the problem, but I get a lot of feedback. Um, I also built the amp myself, so it could be part of the resistors and stuff on there. Um, but with this, I'm not having the feedback problems, uh, with this simple setup. And I'd recommend doing this over rather than building it yourself. It's just more cost effective and time saving and all that. Anyway, um, that's it. I hope it helped. Um, if you like it, thumbs up. Or if it helped you out at all, yeah, thumbs up. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Take care. I'm out.